Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, SN06 Cream tool. You can find it from many, many, many brands. The design is the same. I think this is the cheap version of it, but you can buy the more expensive ones with uh, a different brand on it. Mine came with uh, this uh, uh, set together. I don't know, $25 or something like that. $30 all of it hopefully it will do a good job because I have a set that I will show you in a moment that I didn't like almost at all it's this one it will be linked in the description and it crimps right here so it's just relying on the strength of your hand to crimp which is not nice. This one has all sorts of levers. So a big movement in here translates to a much smaller movement in here. So it amplifies your strength. This one doesn't really do that. So in my opinion, a much weaker tool. Yes, this one is meant for insulated ones. This is for non-insulated ones. But I have a feeling if I'm careful with it, I might also be able to do insulated ones. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just stick to this. But uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Most times I use uninsulated, not insulated ones. So there's that. Let me start using this thing on wires and hope that it's much better than that thing was. Uh, just want to add, I used this tool, which will also be linked in the description for a good while. And if you look at it, basically, even the handles are almost identical. Material seems to be quite the same. And this is a perfect tool, in my opinion. So if this fares uh, similarly well to this one, then uh, it's a winner. Found the perfect match for what I need in here. Now let's strip the wire a little bit and crimp that on it, hopefully in a proper way, not like that one was doing. Nope, the one that I chose initially was too wide for my 1.5 millimeter wire, so went in and this is the thinner uh, version, basically the same thing but for uh, a bit thinner wire and it kind of fits just right in there. Now uh, let's get into the tool and in theory we have the AWG of the wire right here. I kind of need to update myself on that because uh, I'm from Europe. We work with uh, millimeters, uh, not AWG for wires. And on the back of this is written 1.5 to 4. So I have the proper thing for my wire on this one. The one that I initial, initially took 2.5 to 4. So, nope, this is <laughs> not good. This is what I need. It's exactly what I need. Or maybe it says for the diameter of the hole. So this is for 1.5 wire. That's for 2.5 wire, but both of them have 4 millimeter hole. Could be. Yep, could be. Learning about this did not properly use them up until now. But let's see AWG for this type of wire. And this is a chart for AWG. As you can see, I think, oops, oh, they run out of uh, numbers. <laughs> that's, uh, that's really fun. Anyway, we are somewhere around here, about 15 AWG. So I will check on the tool itself. Oh man, why can I they not use millimeters? Anything else but millimeters. So we have 10, 12, nope. 12, 14, nope. 14, 16, so this one we will be using. And for smaller, from 16 to 22, the smallest. But we are here. Okay, squish the first one. Hopefully I used the tool properly camera focus so the lower part remained flat and we bent the upper one as close to the middle as I could. Uh, <clears throat> ok, 
Okay, so nope. I need to search a bit online to see if I'm doing this wrong. I will also try now on the smallest one. Maybe that does a better job, but I don't like what I see. I don't like this. Let's see on the smallest one. Did it do the job properly this time? Yep, it did. This is not coming out anymore. So, uh, what is it? Nope, not coming out. Uh, I should have done it on one a bit smaller than what they recommend. Anyway, well, it's good. I still feel like I would just put a bit of solder in there, but mm, I don't know. Tried another one by putting it in reverse into the tool. So which is the proper way? I need to search online. From what I can find online, this is the proper way to, to do it and not this on the back of it. So yeah, and from what I have opened up in electronics, all of them were crimped on the front. So this basically was bent inwards like we have it here because I remember many times I tried to uh, use a knife to open them up and they looked kind of like this. So, yep, this is the way to go. Hmm, look how Panasonic is doing things in some sockets that I'm actually connecting now. So they are crimping plus soldering. Yep, I'm doing the same. Better safe than sorry, honestly. Yep, this is a good crimper. I like it much more than that one. But I will also be soldering at least the end just to be safe so i've been using this thing for a good while now and i can say it's perfect honestly it's exactly what i was hoping for and it seems that uh, searching for a visual similarity with a tool that i already owned and felt it was working really well was the winner in my case because they kind of have the same <laughs> design uh, behind them more or less and kind of both of them work perfectly so uh, <laughs> yeah finally i have a good uh, crimping tool for my needs and that's about it for this video hope it helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye